right, everybody, we coming to you live, baby. We're live out here in Clinton Park, y'all. 200 block of Mississippi, y'all. You hear what I say? 200 block of Mississippi. And it is a pleasure to be out here in Clinton Park, y'all. It's a privilege to be out here in Clinton Park. Because after all, man, after World War II, which ended in 1945, they came out here and built this for black people. It was developed. See, when you look at that Acres Home and these other black communities that Houston annexed, these places were not developed. And when I say developed, that means they didn't have city water, they didn't have city garbage disposal, uh, they didn't have the asset to a lot of city benefits. But when this was given to blacks, and blacks came out here and bought this land, which is on the other side of the Port of Houston. And you remember now, you're still in this segregated era here in Houston. And what they did, one side, which was called Galena Park, was for whites. And then on the other side, where we at, was considered as Clinton Park, and it was all blacks. And when you're out here in Clinton Park or you're out here anywhere on the north side, y'all, let me tell you, you got to come up with the wildcat territory, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm just being straight up with you. A lot of good athletes who lived out here in Clinton Park, they went to Phyllis Wheatley. They bleed purple and white out here in Clinton Park just like they do in Fifth Ward. They bleed purple and white out there in Pleasantville because this is wildcat territory. And one thing about Clinton Park, because we're gonna to tour Clinton Park, you guys, to show you that all the streets just named after these different states are out here in Clinton Park. And Clinton Park is on the other side of the Port of Houston. One side over here is on the other side of 610, that's 610 over there, on the other side of 610 is Pleasantville. A little bit further down 610 is the black community city gas. And a little bit further down 610, you're going into Cashmere Garden. So right now, all of this is wildcat territory, you hear me? Wildcat, baby. You see me? Wildcat all the way. And I'm so honored to be here, to come here to you guys and do this history on Clinton Park, which was established in 1945, right after World War II. Blacks start moving out here. And this land was developed. I mean, it was developed. They had city water, they had lights, they had, oh man, they were, they were they were, they were what you call living high on the hog when they came out here. And you had a lot of people that was coming from Fifth Ward came out here. A lot of roots in Clinton Park is part of Fifth Ward. But right now we finna go tour the historical spot of Clinton Park. And what can I say, y'all? I got to do this for me. Because when I won, won my first gold medal, swimming, in 1958, Johnny Means, because when I first came out here in 57, I didn't win no gold medal. Because I didn't qualify for the final. And my stroke was the butterfly. And my coach was Johnny Means. And we were swimming for the YMCA, 10 and under. But that second year, I was ready. 1958, I was ready. I was ready to get me at least one gold medal. Just show you how God worked. And when Johnny Means, he entered me into three races. It was a 25-yard butterfly. We only swim one lap. That was a 25-yard pool here at Clinton Park. And the 25 breaststroke and the medley relay that Johnny Means had me in. Three events is all we could get into. And I'll never forget that time. I qualified first 
in the preliminaries in the 25 yard butterfly. But I qualified second in the 25 yard breaststroke. One of the best women that came out of Clinton Park, that was my biggest competitor, we even spent time together, women from Yates to Wheatley, was Walter Turk. And what can I say about them Shelby girls, man? They was just, nobody could touch them. They was, a, they was in a different class. Clinton Park had the best women, girls swimming team it was. Nobody could beat them because of the Shelby girls. But when I entered that race in the breaststroke, I was behind Walter Turk. He had the best time. So when I got through swimming my 25-yard butterfly, and I won my first gold medal, and then I came in, and I was expected to win a silver medal because I had the second fastest time behind Walter Turk. But when I got in that pool and was going against Walter Turk, I felt like I was going to lose. But then once the race started, I felt like, man, I'm almost, I mean, I'm close to him. And then all of a sudden, my courage, my, my, my uh, energy level boosted up, and I could feel myself. You're talking about 1958, y'all. And I could feel myself catching up with him. And when I caught up with him, I felt like, well, damn, I could beat him. I could beat Turk. And sure enough, I beat Walter Turk right out here. His home swimming team, Clinton Park, which was the manager at that time, was a man named Glover. Man, this is history, man. And I'm so proud that I can be out here to document this history. Because it all started for me right here in Clinton Park, my swimming career. And when I wind up beating Malta Turk, I had two gold medals. And our medley relay, well, we took that all away with me, Major Stevenson, Dale Wayne Hughes, uh, Ronnie Tompkins. We took that. We took that all away. And Kenneth Wayne Flemings. We took the medley relay. So I wind up leaving here in 1958 with three gold medals, man. God is good, man. And I'm here to tell you. Thank you, y'all. But let's go visit Clinton Park, y'all. Clinton Park, y'all. We're leaving the park here and going down Mississippi, one of the hot streets out here. And Clinton Park is a street called Fidelity. And they even had a school out here called Fidelity Manor, which a lot of kids, if they was athletes, they knew somebody lived out in Fifth Ward. And they wanted to go play with Phyllis Wheatley and that terrible awesome basketball team that Phyllis Wheatley had. All right, and that's why a lot of these guys from Clinton Park moved and worked out there, uh, should I say they went to school at Phyllis Wheatley. That's why I say this is Wildcat territory. And a lot of guys who played football for Phyllis Wheatley came out of here in Clinton Park. Even though they were scheduled to go to a Fidelity Manor, but Fidelity Manor was part of Galena Park School District. It wasn't part of HISD. And it was one of the only black school in the district. So a lot of kids, especially kids who played athletes, who had some athletic ability, even kids that had academics, they all went to Phyllis Wheatley. They either had relatives that lived out in Fifth Ward that they used residence, to be able to enroll in Phyllis Wheatley, but nevertheless, they find out and find their way into Phyllis Wheatley. Okay, y'all, we're going down Fidelity Manor. Okay, now over here to my left, as I'm from the turn, we're going towards Market Street. And then from Market Street, we right now we're on Mississippi, we're turning on Fidelity, and we're going down and I'll show you what I mean by all of these streets. Got state's name. We left Mississippi, y'all. And this is where I used to love coming because I see that we be passing these different states. That's Tennessee right there, y'all. As we go down Fidelity Manor. And like I say, Fidelity Manor is a main drag street. It's just like Lyons Avenue to Fifth Ward. Just like Dowling is to uh, Third Ward. Okay, that's New Mexico, y'all. I tell you, all these streets named after different states, different states in the United States. And one thing, uh, and there's Yama, and one thing about out here in uh, Clinton Park, a lot of these men 
and family, they parents worked, especially their male parents, their father or uncle worked out here at the ship channel, which is the port of Houston, is no more than about, uh, probably about, about a quarter mile from here. And here's another street that we're going down here. Here's another street. As we travel down Pondellison Manor. And then Rach Rachy Street. And like I say, Pondellison Manor is the main drag. It runs from Market Street to Clinton Drive. And as we go down here, uh, New Newark, Newark And there we go here. We're traveling straight on down. Fidelity, uh, Fidelity Street, y'all. Like I say, Fidelity is a main drag. And we, we, when we get up here to Market Street, we're gonna make a left. And when we make a left, we're heading towards Pleasantville. Now Pleasantville, those kids, was able to go to Phyllis Wheatley. They didn't have to use different addresses to go to Phyllis Wheatley. They was bused to Phyllis Wheatley. That was the high school they had to go to. But right now, we in Clinton Park, y'all. This historical spot of Clinton Park. Like I say, Clinton Park was was a, one of the first American developed city in Houston that was for blacks. Because now, you remember, Clinton Park was not like uh, it wasn't annexed into Houston. It was always part of Houston. And it was one of the first spots where it was developed. That's why they had city water out here. They had lights out here. When places like Clinton Park had lights. Places like Sunnyside, Acres Home, uh, uh, City Gas, they didn't have lights because they wasn't annexed in yet. But out here, this has always been part of Houston. And it was one of the first black areas in Houston that was developed for blacks here in Houston. And as we go right on down here to a street called Landwell, and we're going right on into the street that they call Market Street. See, and all of this is part of industrial area out here in Clinton Park. And that's what made Clinton Park. And like I say, on one side of is Galena Park, which was all white. But on Clinton Park, it was all blacks. That's why they had to, that's why they separated. See that Fidelity Park. See, all of this is part of Galena. Not Galena now. This is part of Clinton Park. Galena Park was all white and it's on the other side going towards the center city and as we go up here to this street they call Market Street it's the same Market Street that Phyllis Wheatley is on by the way you guys and if we go to the right on Market we're going towards the center city and Galena Park but now we're not going there we're going towards left and we're going towards Pleasantville.